Welcome back hunters, Sky Sensei here with another Glaive video. I finally had enough time to play around with the Wirebug skills, so we're going to talk about them and I'll give you my suggestions for which Kinsex and other skills to pair with them. Small note here as well at the start, I know a lot of you have been asking for builds, those will be the next videos that I'm coming up with. I just wanted to take the time to review the skills first as I reached endgame, and now I can look back and kind of set up the builds so that can help you on your journey. So thank you guys for your patience. And on that note, let's grab a wirebug and head on out. So both wirebug skills actually unlock at the same time in Sunbreak. They appear at MR4, from which I believe just after the Lunagaran Urgent Quest. I much preferred this system in base rise, it was so much more complicated to get all your wirebug skills and other skills. In Sunbreak, it's much better, all you need to do is just keep moving through the questline and you will be given all the skills for all the weapons. So, let's talk about the first skill, the Kinsect Glide. Now this one replaces the Silkbind Vault, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know time and time again, I was always hoping that we could replace the Silkbind Vault with Recall Kinsect, but alas, Capcom has chosen to go another way. Instead, they've given us yet another movement skill known as the Kinsect Glide. Now this one has a bit of a twist. You start by aiming your Kinsect at any direction that you like and yeeting it forward. If it connects with a monster, it pulls you straight to that spot and extracts the body color from the spot that you hit and immediately gives it to you. The cool thing about this skill is that it can be used in the air too. Compared to the previous skill of the Silkbind Vault where it only really pulls you upwards in any direction, this skill gives you much more directional control. You can aim wherever you want to go from the air or ground and it'll pull you right to that spot. So this is definitely something that I prefer as someone who likes to be very precise with my positioning. The way you do this is you basically just use the same aimer that you do for anything as if you were shooting your Kinsect or your Wirebug skills. Aim the aimer wherever you do and then use the Wirebug skill. So yeah, a little bit of extra directional control always helps with the Insect Glaive. Especially in Sunbreak where we have a lot of different movement skills now. I've also been finding a theme of just being able to gain our extracts much quicker in a variety of ways other than the regular just throwing your Kinsect and pulling it back. So it's kind of neat and I love the direction that the Glaive is taking in Rise. It's giving us more viable playstyles and bringing back a strong aerial Glaive. Now moving on here, this skill pairs really well with the second Wirebug skill. And this is the big one I'm sure everyone is curious about. The Awakened Kinsect Attack. Now this is a really neat single wirebug skill and it's kind of a throwback to the Monster Hunter GU bug eat skill. In GU you had a gauge that you had to fill up from damaging and then you'd be able to charge your Kinsec with it and yeet it for extra damage. In Sunbreak, which by the way if anyone's noticed there's a lot of Kinsec abuse happening. We're, we're just yeeting our pals all of a sudden. But yeah in Sunbreak instead of a gauge we just simply consume all our extracts. You can technically use this skill with a minimum of zero extracts maximum of three obviously. The amount you consume directly affects the number of hits that the Awakened Kinsec does and the damage outputted per hit. Now the number of hits also changes based on the Kinsec you pair this skill with and I'll get to the differences in just a moment. The damage also changes based on the Kinsec level of your weapon. So there are a few variables to consider here when you're making your builds. Now if you consume all three extracts you do the maximum damage and number of hits. There is also a maximum range to this attack, so you cannot be too far away from the monster, otherwise your Kinsect will not reach the target. Once your Kinsect hits the target, all the damage is outputted immediately upon contact, and you are pulled straight to the point of contact and do a mini Kinsect glide or slash kind of thing. Actually no, it's a glide. You follow the Kinsect and it picks up the extract for you. Oh, I can see the creativity just flowing from Capcom. <laughs> so yes, anywhere you hit, you will extract the buff and this is something you need to think about based on the monster and situation. The damage value of the Awakened Kinsect attack does not change no matter where you hit the monster. It's a straight base damage with 100% critical. So your goal should be to target the red buff hit zones so that you gain back the red extract immediately and then you can maneuver in the air to retreat to a safe location. Now one of the craziest features I want to know here is that the Awakened Kinsect attack actually gives you a counter. That's right, Insect Glaive now has two counters. The travel distance between where you start and where the Kinsect ends, if you are hit any time while you're traveling that distance, essentially while you're being pulled by the wire bug, you will immediately cancel the travel and instead do a vault dance. 
Now just like most counters, you do have some super armor at the end to protect you from even the biggest of attacks. You will still take some damage, but you won't get knocked out of the air or anything out of the attack. You will finish the awakened Kinsect attack. You can see here that Magnamolo takes 267 damage points. I didn't have triple buff for testing purposes. But the main thing I wanted to check was that like, even while I was traveling, if Magnamolo ran into the, the Kinsect, does he take damage? And yes, he did. And the dust clouds also formed there since I had a powdered Kinsect. Now, of course, the second you reach the Kinsect, you are vulnerable again. So you have a very small window of counter invincibility. So you have to be careful when you're pushing multi-attacks like I do right here against Magnamolo. I think this is absolutely bonkers. I swear Glaive is one of the best weapons in Sunbreak. Hands down, can't change my mind. Now, of course, I wouldn't recommend using this counter too often tactically. The animation prep for the Awakened Kinsect attack is too long. This really is just there to give you that protection. Although, to be fair, I did have a really great time countering Magnamalo's ultimate move here. That was hella satisfying. So that's the basic gist of the attack. Let's break it down a little bit further here by Kinsect and skills. So let's start with the assist Kinsects. They have the most power in the game of all the Kinsects, and thus with this skill they deal the most damage individually. At max extract, they will do 3 immediate hits, all very strong. All the hits occur at the point of contact, so it's a very precise and accurate attack when you use the aimer. Now with assist Kinsects, wherever you hit, it actually leaves a marker, which quite honestly can make it hard for you to get your extracts back since the Kinsect will try to target the marked location. However, if you use the new Assist Kinsects, they also come with a bonus known as the Boosted Powder Extract. This makes this skill very viable. I'll briefly mention the skill here, but if you want a full breakdown, check the card at the top right of the video. The Boosted Powder Extract sort of leaves a recharged red dust cloud around the monster. As you walk through it, you replenish all your extracts immediately. So as you can see here, if you use the Awakened Kinsect after a red cloud is on the playing field, you simply need to walk through it and replenish all your extracts and then you can go back to DPS. The red cloud can be used twice per cloud and if you attack enough, you can have multiple clouds on the field since they last a very long time. So with the new Assist Kinsects, it really makes the Awakened Kinsect attacks very viable and then you can quickly recover your buffs and keep damaging. With Assist Kinsects, Kinsect Slash and Kinsect Glide are also good skill choices just in case you don't have the red clouds on the field, you have two skills that can get your extracts back very quickly. Moving on, Powdered Kinsects are probably my next recommended Kinsects. Now they don't have a bonus like the Assist Kinsects to recover your buffs quickly, but the new Powdered Kinsects do have the Powder Vortex Bomb. And what do you know? The Awakened Kinsect attack actually immediately releases 5 powders around the monster at the point of contact. This is huge for Powder Kinsect gamers, and it's one of the main reasons why this Kinsect pairs so well with the Awakened Kinsect. So you won't have your buffs immediately after the attack, but you can bounce in the air and vault to a safer location where you can immediately set off the Vortex Bomb, which deals great amounts of damage, and depending on the timing you use the Powdered Vortex, it might even break or at least stagger the monster, which will give you time to recollect your extracts. If you use the Status Lady Tower Kinsect, you could potentially get some paralysis or KOs, giving you even more space to get extracts and damage again. So take a look at this hunt here where I fought an MR Rathalos. I had an opening so I took the opportunity to use my Awakened Kinsect. Now I missed the head, so I didn't get that red extract right away, but that's okay because my next step was to send my Kinsect out. So I shot it at the head, red extract is now on standby while I did the Powder Vortex. Now this was probably my second Powder Vortex, so I was able to get a paralysis here. This gave me the space to get my red buff, damage, and then at the very end I marked the head so I could get even more KO damage and lo and behold, the KO actually kicked in and we got another knock. Huge DPS time. Something like this is what I've really been hoping for for the Insect Glaive since the days of Monster Hunter World. There's just something so satisfying about being able to strategize like this and then see it pay off. So this Kinsect is definitely a great pairing with the Awakened Kinsect attack. Now damage wise, this Kinsect doesn't itself deal a lot of damage as much as the Assist Kinsects. However, if you're using the Blast Powder Kinsect, you can definitely achieve a much higher level of damage than with the Assist Kinsects themselves. So here's an example with my Rarity 8 Narga Blade. You can see that I achieved 395 base damage from the Awakened Kinsect attack 
Then I add the bomb on top which adds another 1046 damage. So that's going to go much farther along for me than the 441 base damage I get with the assist Kinsek. So definitely something to consider and of course it's going to depend on your playstyle and the monster that you're facing. There are going to be situations where the assist Kinsek might benefit you more than the powdered Kinsek and vice versa. In terms of skills to pair powder Kinsex with, I would keep Kinsex Glide for sure. Since you can't recover the extracts immediately, Kinsex Glide would be a good way to try and grab the red extract as fast as possible. You most likely won't have time to do two awakened Kinsex in a row, so using the second wirebug to recover extracts is definitely an efficient play. I wouldn't recommend the Kinsex Slash since you want your Kinsex to be out of making dust clouds. Kinsek Slash actually recalls the Kinsek, so it's a little bit disruptive for Powder Vortex gameplay. Finally, we reach the Speed Kinseks, and honestly, they don't have anything too special when they're combined with the Awakened Kinsek attack. They deal 6 hits instead, so that's the most out of all the Kinseks, but there's nothing else really special about them. Damage doesn't even total up to the uh, Assist Kinsek, so it's kind of just in the middle there of damage, so I wouldn't recommend these Speed Kinseks with the new Wirebug skill. And that's my breakdown of the new Insect Glaive Wirebug skills in Sunbreak. The Awakened Kinsect attack really has a lot of potential and I foresee a lot of you guys actually using this skill in a variety of ways. I gotta say this is what's been the most exciting for me in Sunbreak. It's just the fact that there are so many more viable gameplay styles now compared to the one trick Narga IG assist Kinsect and base rise. These varieties are going to be helpful against different monsters too so a lot of cool matchups to consider. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am now going to head out and work on some build videos coming up this week. So be sure to subscribe for more videos. But thank you so much for being here. If you guys would like to hunt with the community, please check out the Discord link in the description below. There's a lot of us just hunting and playing Sunbreak together on Discord. So we're always happy to have more friends with us. So until next time, guys, stay safe, be happy, and keep hunting. Sky Sensei is out.